Here at Hammerspace Workshop, work has been proceeding to bring to perfection the crudely conceived idea of a machine that would not only supply inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal grammeters. Students of engineering history may recall that one such machine was originally developed by GE in 1944, the Turbo Encabulator. We are proud to announce that turbo encabulation is now a thing of the past. The Hammerspace Quantum Encabulator combines all of the benefits of the now obsolete turbo encabulator with the stylish lines of last year's ill-conceived nano encabulator. In addition to the newly redesigned overload suppressor, the Quantum Encabulator consumes only 300 more watts per micron while maintaining the nano encabulator's larger enclosure and 30% brighter user interface. Basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. The original machine had a base plate of prefamulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in direct line with the panometric fan. The latter consisted simply of six hydrocoptic marzal vanes so fitted to the ambifacient lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. The main winding was of the normal lotus o delta type placed in panendermic semiboloid slots of the stator, every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. Electrical engineers will appreciate the difficulty of nubbing together a regurgitative Purwell and a supremative Wendelsprock. Indeed, this proved to be a stumbling block for further development until in 1947 it was found that the use of anhydrous nagling pins enabled a cryptonastic boiling shim to be tankered. This is a distinct advance on the standard nivel shim in that no dramcock oil is required after the phase detractors have been remissed. The early attempt to construct a sufficiently robust spiral decommutator failed largely because of a lack of appreciation of quasi-piestic stresses in gremlin studs, the latter specifically designed to hold the roffet bars to the spam shaft. Unfortunately, the quantum encabulator has now reached a very high level of technical development. It's been successfully used for the operation of Milford trunnions, and in addition, whenever a Bearson score motion is required, it may be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocating dingle arm to reduce sinusoidal deplaneration. The quantum encabulator may be an entertaining science fiction, but Hammerspace Workshop is very real. We have tools more amazing than quantum encabulators, and they're available for you to use today. Use our CNC routers, laser cutters, 3D printers, wood and metalworking tools, and microelectronics workstations to create your own amazing inventions. Share your ideas with other creative people and take classes or teach your own workshops. Make art and music. Forge a new tool. Hammerspace turns your science fiction into engineered reality.